Hello friends, once again welcome back to the automotive basic session. I am Somashekar and I am back with one more frame format of a CAN protocol that is extended frame format. Let's start with extended frame format. To understand this in a better manner, one must be aware of standard CAN frame format. If not, kindly watch my part 9 video. Friends, the extended format of CAN is almost similar to standard format of CAN except the discrepancies in arbitration and control field. You can see the same in these pictures, the discrepancies uh, between standard and extended frame format of CAN. Now let's understand the dissonance of arbitration field in comparison with the standard format of CAN. As you already know, standard frame format of arbitration field comprises of 11-bit identifier and OTR bit. You can see the same in this picture. The standard format of CAN contains, uh, sorry, the standard CAN format of arbitration field contains 11-bit identifier and OTR bit. But extended format of CAN comprises of 11-bit ID that is referred to as a base ID and 18-bit extended ID, the SRR bit, IDE bit and RTR bit. Now let's understand the purpose of 11-bit ID and 29-bit ID, SRR bit and IDE and RTR bit of extended format. Coming to the identifier the length of the standard format of identifier is equal to 11 bit base ID you can see in this picture therefore the number of identifier are equal to 2 to the power of 11 that is 2048 identifier which are range from 0 to 2047 if you see the extended format of identifier in this diagram, you can see in this diagram, the length of this is equal to 29 bit. Because of base ID 11 bits, you can see in this picture, and extended ID 18 bits. Therefore, the number of identifiers are equal to the 2 to the power of 29, and this is equal to 536 million. The exact number is 5368709122. Friends, now you may ask me, why do we need extended frame format? Because the vehicle-like trucks may require more identifier in their network. As you all know, standard format of CAN can provide only two, 2048 identifier. In such case, extended format of CAN is used in vehicle networking. Now we will see the purpose of RTR bit. This is abbreviated as remote transmission request as we already discussed in standard CAN format. The RTR bit in data frame has to be dominant and in remote, remote frame it has to be recessive. You can see this in this picture RTR bit. The next bit is SRR bit stands for substitute remote request. The SRR bit is recessive and this is applicable only in extended format of a CAN. This bit does not exist in standard format of a CAN. You can see in this picture clearly. It is transmitted in the extended frame at the position of the RTR bit. You can see the position of the RTR bit and SRR bit here. and so this is this substitutes the RTR bit in the standard frame this is the substitution of RTR bit in extended frame the next bit is identifier extension this is the identifier extension bit IDE you can see in this picture the IDE bit belongs to the arbitration field for the extended frame format you can see in the standard frame format the IDE bit belongs to control field. 
the id bit in the standard frame is transmitted dominant whereas in the extended frame format the id bit is recessive you can see that difference as well here this is recessive bit in extended format but this will be dominant in standard format the next discrepancy we will see in control field the control field consists of six bits the format of the control field you can see in this picture the extended format of control field consists of six bits or or one or not and DLC 0 to DLC 3 but the standard format of control field consists of IDE bit or not and DLC 0 to DLC 3 the format sorry frames in standard format includes the DLC the IDE bit which is transmitted dominant and reserved bit R0 in extended format include the data length code and two reserved bits R1 and R0 you can see in this picture DLC stands for data length code the number of bytes in data field is indicated by the data length code the DLC is of 4 bits as I already said and it is transmitted within the control field in both the formats and anyway I will be showing the table for this in my next slides this is the table you can see in this picture uh, sorry uh, here you have to notice below table shows shows the coding parameter of number of data bytes abbreviations R stands for recessive bit and D stands for dominant bit here you can see in this table the number of data bytes varies from 0 to 8 and DLC 0 to DLC 3 these are represented like this in this as I already explained what is the differences between the standard and the extended format of a CAN I have just given here the major differences between the standard and extended format the remaining fields of standard format the remaining fields means data field CRC field ACK field and end of frame and SOF remain same in comparison with standard format of CAN protocol in this slide you can see the standard and extended frames are how frames prioritization so if both the bits IDE and RTR bits are dominant bit in a frame means this frame is referred to as a standard data frame suppose if IDE bit is dominant and RTR bit is 1 so then the frame is considered as standard remote frame in next if IDE bit is recessive and RTR bit is dominant means the frame is extended data frame if both the bits are recessive then it indicates the frame format is extended remote frame sorry the frame is extended remote frame for queries please leave comments below if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel secrets of automotive industry and hit thumbs up thank you all